For full episodes of the Diverse Mentality Podcast, check the links in the description below. The full video version is available on the main channel, and the audio version is available on your favorite streaming platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. This next article is very interesting. It's a study done by money.co.uk. Uh, um, and they studied the top artists in the world and which artists, I mean, which, which fans spend the most on their artists. Not which fans, but which artist has the most money spent on them by their fans. That makes sense. Um, let's go over the article. It's no secret monetary fan support keeps the careers of both major and independent hip-hop artists thriving, but there is a set limit on how much a listener has to spend in order to be considered uh, devoted to the cause. According to a new study by money.co.uk, an English price comparison website that specializes in findings from bank figures, mortgages, and more spending, following the timelines of certain rappers could cost you more. So hip-hop acts rounded out the top five of the study, which surveyed 65 of the world's biggest artists. Leading the credit charge was Eminem with an estimated $2,966 cost per fan. Slim Shady has been consistent, releasing uh, the deluxe version for his 11th studio album, Music to be Murdered By, uh, at the tail end of 2020, uh, and a sturdy merchandise drop along the way. Um, then it's Travis Scott with $2,244, then Drake at $1,543, then Kanye West at $1,395, then Kendrick Lamar at $1,231. All followed Eminem as the most expensive artist for fans to support. Several deciding factors went into the criteria, including calculating in the average price of an album download plus the average price of a 12-inch vinyl album, the cost of official merch products, the artist's average concert ticket price, and the value of authentic... authentic I can't even, Authentic, <laughs> authentic, basically, autified, uh, 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 authentic autographed items. Okay. Um, but there are a few other people like Jay-Z, Beyonce, Chris Brown, Silk Sonics, Bruno Mars, Future, and newly minted uh, Vegas resident uh, Usher, who's also minted an expensive list. Um, uh, they didn't prevent female hip-hop stars from making the list, too. Like Doja Cat's at $196, Megan Thee Stallion's at $221, Cardi B's at $243. So basically what this list is saying, how much would it, how much does the average span, uh, span, average fan spend on their favorite artists? And of course, Eminem stands are crazy shots, Eminem stands, <laughs> but they spend the most, they spend roughly almost $3,000, $2,966. That's $3,000 per fan. And that weighs in the tickets, the merch, all that other stuff, vinyls, albums, um, I'm surprised that it's not Kanye West, to be honest with you, because Kanye West, in terms of merch, at least charges the most from what I've seen, and his fans spend the most on that. He's number, what, one, two, three, four on the list. Drake has a higher spending. Travis Scott is right behind him, and him which is no surprise. Travis Scott fans, are they will, they will spend the bag. So $2,244, that's interesting. And then you got Kendrick Lamar in there, even though he hasn't released or done anything in a while, he's at $1,231. So... Yeah, it was just an interesting list, and I'm kind of surprised Eminem's at the top of that because Kanye West, Yeezys, uh, Yeezys are killing it with that clothing line. Drake, I know he doesn't, he has OVO in terms of OVO clothing and all that, but I guess the music is where the value is in Drake's because he's killing it musically, of course. Uh, Travis Scott, though, has a lot of like packages that he delivers with albums and just events that are really unique, so I can understand that, but... The ultimate surprise was Kendrick Lamar being up there because he hasn't really done anything in a while. So, you know, it's interesting if, you know, when this album comes out, if you drop something, are people going to support the shit out of it? Which I'm sure they will. So, yeah, it was just an interesting article, interesting list.